Hi, this is Alec at Calibox, and I'm going to give you a quick tour through how you can install and use Calibox to run your Drupal sites. So first things first, you'll need to get a key code for right now. That'll go away pretty soon, but once you have one, you'll have access to this download page where you can download the Calibox installer. Now I've already done that, and on Macintosh, it's just a convenient DMG, like most other applications. So I'm going to go ahead and run this Calibox installer, which is a pretty normal install process. And this is going to create a virtual machine for me using a virtual box that will run the Docker containers that power Calibox. If you're not familiar with what containers are, they're a very similar technology to what hosting platforms like Pantheon use to run your websites. One of the big advantages of this is that your local environment that you're developing on here on your laptop can be very similar to that of Pantheon or Acquia or really any other hosting provider. So my installation is now finished and I'm gonna access Calbox like any other Macintosh application here in the Applications directory. If you're on Windows, you should have a shortcut in your Start menu for Calbox. And here we can see the Calbox dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new site from my Pantheon account. So now that I've authenticated my Pantheon account, I have a list of all the Pantheon sites I have on this account. I can add multiple accounts if I want to. So if I work at multiple organizations, that can be handy. But in this case, I'm just gonna add my Calbox one. So I'm gonna pull down a quick Drupal 8 test site I have on Pantheon. Here I'm just naming it. This is also gonna be the URL that I access the site on. And here I'm picking the environment which if I had multi-dev environments associated with this Pantheon site, these would, those would show up here as well. Okay, you can see that my site has now been pulled down and is started. Um, that's the green here. So I'm gonna just click on it, which will open it up in my browser. It'll take a second on the first load. Some of the caches are being primed on first load but otherwise on subsequent page loads, you should notice significantly better performance than pretty much any other local development uh, solution I've ever used. You can see we've pulled down this site successfully, which is great, but what are some other things we can do with it? So if we go back to the dashboard here, you can see a bunch of different actions you can take. Um, a couple of these are pretty basic, things like opening up the web route so you can see all your code and start editing it with your IDE. You can also open up your code root in the terminal automatically, which is kind of nice if you want to run, say, a drudge command. Notice here I'm prefixing my drudge command um, with kbox, which tells it to actually run drush within the virtual environment. And that'll give me a login link if I wanted to go and log into my site here. That gives you all the power of Drush with Calbox, just out of the box, so to speak. Uh, you also get connection info here, so if you want to find out how you can connect to your database, you can do that on the command line or insert this into SQL Pro or PHP MyAdmin or another tool. Uh, we also have here pull and push. These are commands for actually interacting with the Pantheon environment. So you can pull down a new database or code or files. Um, you, know, you can choose if you say you don't want to pull a database and you don't want to pull files and only pull code, which is kind of nice. Um, or you can pick and choose between those things. Very similar with push. Push will always make a commit to your remote environment on Pantheon. You, but it doesn't have to actually include any code changes. So if you just wanted to push up a database, you can totally do that. Um, and you can just say, you know, empty commit with database, and it'll push that up. 
Otherwise, we just can delete the site if we want it to when we're done. Um, but that's pretty much the full functionality of CalBox.